Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Gossip Closets where we get to gossip all about perfumes and everything in between. So, let's get started. Alright you guys, so in today's video, in today's video, I'm kind of excited to talk to you guys about a perfume that just came out. This perfume was just released by the house of Dior and it's another than this is i guess a flanker of a flanker of a flanker i'm not sure what this is exactly but this is the new jador parfum the L. i don't know if i'm saying that correct but this is a really interesting perfume and i really wanted to try it out so now i did try it out at the store i didn't buy the big bottle i bought the 1.7 fluid ounce because we'll talk about that right now but yeah this is a alcohol free perfume and that's really what intrigued me about this perfume and also i don't have any jador perfumes from dior and i wanted to have one and the bottle intrigued me so we're going to talk about this perfume and we're going to review it and i'll tell you what it smells like to my nose and then we'll go from there <music> Alright, so the bottle and the packaging, the presentation is just really, really beautiful. I really like this bottle. For some reason, something about this bottle just really intrigued me. I like the fact that it's white. And I mean, all of their bottles are really, 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 really cute. And this is supposed to be a very floral perfume. Now, I'm actually surprised that I bought this perfume because it's a floral perfume. I'm not really a floral type of person, but I have been getting into floral perfumes here and there because they are some good floral perfumes so yeah this one really did catch my attention because of the bottle okay so this perfume is interesting because it doesn't have top notes middle notes and base notes it just has notes so i'm gonna read the notes for this one it has notes of jasmine sandback honeysuckle rose neroli green notes and magnolia so as you can see it's literally nothing but florals and just it's just a floral perfume. The thing I like about this perfume is it doesn't have tube rose because I'm not a big fan of tube rose perfumes. I'll do a little bit of tube rose, but not too much. And so yeah, we're going to spray this perfume right here on my hand. And I really like the way that it sprays. Now, a lot of people don't know this or you might not know this, but because the bottle is white, the liquid inside is also white, but it doesn't come out. It doesn't stain your, your hand or your clothes white, which is kind of cool. It's a little bit weird. I don't know if you'll be able to see it right here, but if I spray some, you see, it's like, it's like white liquid. It's literally like milk. It's weird. And another interesting fact that the lady from Macy's told me, which by the way, this retailed for 118 and I ended up paying 126. But even though it is a perfume, you can rub this perfume. Now that's my biggest pet peeve. I don't like when people spray their perfumes and they start going like this. She said that with this perfume, you can actually rub it into your skin. I still probably wouldn't do that because I'm just so used to spraying it, let it dry down and go up on your business. But yeah, this is a very interesting perfume. It is a very, very floral perfume. I like it, I just don't love it, but I definitely don't hate it. It's definitely like, um, it's like a walking into a garden and you can smell all the florals outside, but it's more of like a something sunny, like a sunny flower, if that makes sense. It's just very fresh. Um, it's not really aquatic, but it's more like a fresh flower. It's a pretty perfume. It's an elegant perfume. I think this is a little bit different than the other Dior lines. Now, I don't have any of the Dior perfumes, but I am familiar with that DNA. This one, I feel like it's more of a clean perfume, maybe a little bit soapy, a little bit shampoo-y with a hint of florals. The florals is what really makes this perfume stand out a lot i do smell the jasmine and i do smell the magnolia a lot in this perfume so if you're into jasmine perfumes if you're into magnolia perfumes and your nose can pick up those notes you're going to really really like this perfume i would assume that this is a floral dream perfume like if you're a person who's just obsessed with floral perfumes this is going to be like a dream perfume because it, it is a nice perfume the only reason why I don't love it is because, again, it really depends on your taste in perfumes. I, I don't really like floral perfumes. I can do a little bit of floral. 
this is the type of the the, this is the type of perfumes that I'm talking about that I can do a little bit of floral and the only reason why I ended up buying it is because it is elegance it's a pretty perfume and I can always layer this with something sweeter which is what I want to try but I don't think this is a out of this world type of perfume I don't think this is something that I have never smelled I feel like it has been done before but this is a little bit more elevated it does have the same DNA from Dior but a little bit different for some reason this is a little bit different it's a little bit more soft a little bit more it's pretty and it's calm the other ones are I feel like they're more out there they're not that scandalous you're not gonna give someone a headache you're not gonna give yourself a headache but it's literally more up there this one's a little bit more toned down it's a little bit more quiet a little bit more softer not necessarily that i'm saying it doesn't last but what i'm saying is it's not too crazy in the sense but it does linger nice in the air and like i said i really like the mist i really like the way that it sprays and the way that it smells it's a pretty perfume it's definitely definitely a pretty floral perfume i do think that if you are into the dior line you're going to like this one but definitely this is something for people who are just obsessed with floral perfumes if you're into like uh gourmand perfumes like myself you might not like this one because it's a really extreme floral perfume what i do like about this perfume that it doesn't smell like rose petals it doesn't smell like flowers like that like if you put your nose into a bouquet of roses and you can smell all those like fresh flowers those fresh rose petals it doesn't smell like that at all it just smells like a pretty jasmine and a magnolia it's just really really pretty it's a really floral perfume but this one is leaning more towards like something soapy, something shampooy. That's what this reminds me of a lot. So like when you're showering and you get out of the shower and you come back in and you can smell the shampoo in the air. It kind of smells like that. That's the vibe that I'm getting. That's kind of like what I'm getting out of this perfume when I spray it. Not necessarily that it smells cheap, like a cheap shampoo. No, it smells really, really pretty. It's elegant. This to me smells like fresh out of the shower. Like when you just got out of the shower and it smells fresh, you smell really good. You smell really, really clean. And then you want to add a perfume. I would go with this one because it's just going to make you feel like, wow, you smell really, really clean and really, really good. And I like that. I really, really do like that about this perfume. And that's the reason why I actually got it. Because it smells like you just got out of the shower. So yeah, this is definitely a clean, fresh, floral perfume. It's soapy, it's shampooy, but it's really, really nice. And it's really, really elegant. I feel like this is something a bride would wear in her big wedding day. Like, I feel like that's something that I would wear if I was like a bride or I was getting married. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting. Something really fresh, clean, floral tiny bit sweet i guess to my nose maybe to some people it might not be but to me i'm picking up something sweet but it's very like not that much and again this is a new perfume from dior they are trying the alcohol free which i did find very interesting i mean this is an elda parfum i really do like the idea of clean perfumes you know not necessarily that i'm talking about the scent being clean like it does smell like a clean perfume but the idea of coming out with clean perfumes not using alcohol in them i think that's i mean they're stepping up their games i guess and i'm here for it but uh, besides that, it is a beautiful scent if you're into floral perfumes, clean perfumes, watery perfumes, just fresh. Uh, the longevity, I don't know how long it would last on you because I haven't tried it for a full day. But when I did try it at the store and I sprayed it on my hand, I gotta say, by the time I got home, I can barely smell it. It wasn't that strong anymore. It was like two, three hours. But again, I only did one spray on my wrist and I got two to three hours with just one spray on my wrist. So it might last about four to five hours. I don't know, but I am going to try this perfume out. I really like the way that it sprays. I'm going to do three and then one on my clothing. So we'll do four sprays. I'll keep you guys updated in the comments to let you know how long it lasted or in the description. But yeah, you guys, I'm liking it. I'm not obsessed and I'm not in love with this perfume. But that's not necessarily a bad thing coming from someone who is in love with like sweet and gourmand perfumes. I'm barely getting into floral perfumes. And definitely this is a, a good one. I'm gonna keep this one a little bit close just to try it out and test it out with different perfumes. But yeah, it's a 
beautiful, beautiful floral perfume. It's nice, it's elegant, it's fresh, it's clean, it's shampooy and soapy. So if you're into those type of perfumes, I would say give this one a try. You might like it. And again, this is the newest release from Dior and this is the Jador Parfum de L. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. And if I'm not, I apologize, but yeah, that's that one. But alright, you guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. That is pretty much it for today's review. If you guys like this video, please give this video a huge thumbs up. That lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content. As always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I will be more than happy to answer them. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Edgar O, and I'm obsessed with everything in the fashion world, especially perfumes. So if you're into perfumes, and perfume reviews stick around click that subscribe button because i would love to have you part of the team but all right you guys as always thank you for watching and i can't wait till we gossip on our next one until then i'll see you next time bye